sand. And you know, you just ate, Mr. Padfoot and Mooney. And here you are, begging for biscuits. Begging for biscuits! Piss bump. No. Piss bump. Oh. Alright, go away. Um, so. Lord, he drooled all over my nose. Moved my nose ring. So, I got this package. Um, wasn't expecting it soon. Or this soon, but whatever. But, <laughs> I had this package from Ray, a.k.a. Big Papa Geek, over here on uh, YouTube. I'll put a link to his channel in the description box below. Go check him out. Subscribe to his channel. He does a lot of unboxings. He's awesome. Such a nice guy. Um, and he said, uh, or, it's stamped fragile on here, but... This box is all beat to hell. So I'm hoping um, nothing got damaged. I knew he wanted to send me um, a few things. I didn't expect a box this big, so I can't imagine what's in there. He had gotten, um, we had both tried the Fan Empire last month, and so we got the same box, but he's not really... One, as much of a, like, Harry Potter fan as I am. And secondly, um, the fan empire is mostly geared towards females because it's, like, jewelry and whatnot. Um, so he, he wanted to send me the, the more feminine stuff out of the box. And, um, he also had a little Sheldon Cooper squeezy stress ball figure he wanted to send me because he knows I love, um, Sheldon Cooper. Oh, and there's stuff in here I wasn't expecting, but okay. I just see the sides. So we have a note. Hey Candace, here are some items I thought you might be interested in. Hope you guys are doing well. Thanks, Ray. And thank you, Ray. Ray spoils us so much, and, and it makes me feel really bad when he does that because um, I let him know if there's anything he's not interested in his boxes, um, hit me up and, well, you know, I'd, I'd pay for them or we could do a trade, um, anything he might be interested in that I have, but he never lets me. And I, I feel so bad because I'm not one of these YouTubers that expects people to send me things, um, or be demanding that people send me gifts. I'm, I'm not like that and I... I don't want to come off ever as being that kind of person. Um, so it makes me kind of feel bad when people send me gifts. Um, it's, I'm not accustomed to people being nice like that. So um, it's kind of difficult. But I really, really appreciate it. Ray is such a nice guy. He really is. Oh no, he didn't. No, he freaking did it. I was, I was not expecting this. <laughs> so I, I think it was the Ghostbusters. Look, I know the Ghostbusters. No, no, get up here, up. The Ghostbusters loot crate he got. There was a uh, like a bathroom, or you know any kind of room you want. I guess rug. With the Ghostbusters ghost on it. And I was going to look on eBay this week. Um, see if there were any. Because there weren't for a while. But he sent it to me. Oh my god. That is amazing. I was about to say. This is going to go in my kitchen. But I'm constantly spilling stuff on the floor. Um, so it just may go here in the Geek Girl Cave. Um... Over there somewhere where there's actually room on the floor. That's just awesome. Oh my god. That made my day right there. I'm like... Whatever else is in the box just could not possibly top that rug. <laughs> that, <laughs> that rug is just brilliant. Oh. Oh, you know, this is hilarious. 
Um, I know we got a plushie. This was in the last nerd block, which I skipped, and I was kind of bummed about it because I really, really liked this. Um, you know, I I collect the the bleacher creatures that come in the nerd blocks and horror blocks. I've got the Freddy and Jason. I've got the Deadpool. Then I saw the the Suicide Squad Joker one, and I was like, oh, I want that. And it's so funny. I just bought this, and it should be here in a couple of days. Um, I didn't pay like five, six bucks for it. But, um, this, this will go to a good home. Um, maybe it'll appear in a giveaway or something. That's if he doesn't steal it. What do you think of that? Isn't he adorable? I love him. Or actually, this one I will probably keep because it's from my buddy Ray. And we'll put the other one in a gift box. Or something like that, okay? That one's ours. So, oh, oh, and I can have a complete set for my bed. This came in a, um, last month's horror block. It is the Freddy Krueger, um, pillowcase. I haven't put mine on my bed yet because I haven't washed it. Um, but that is really, really awesome. And I can have two for my bed. One for me and one for Patty. Sweet. Okay, I know what this is and I hate to take it out because I'm going to have to put it back in. But, um... This was a little watercolor Hogwarts print that was also in the Fan Empire box. I'll smooth that out. As was this Metal Alice in Wonderland bookmark, which I found out later actually has, um, that is a card right there, and that's a little envelope to put it all in. Well, goodness. Everything be tangling up. I don't... Also from the Fan Empire box, which if you saw my unboxing, you've seen these before. But this was a Alice in Wonderland necklace. Oh, and this little bag. Which had a Hogwarts nine and three quarters keychain with these little charms. It's got a pumpkin, a little candy, a frog, and a train. And in this cute little bag. Oh, I didn't know that he was including this. Um, I just started using mine. It is a BioWorld Harry Potter wallet. These things are pricey, too. Anything by BioWorld is expensive. So, um, Lordy, I am all thumbs today, just dropping stuff. Um, that, that is the whole reason why I uh, subscribed to my first uh, fan empire box is because I saw this wallet and my Ghostbusters paper wallet was <sighs> getting rather shabby and I didn't want falling apart and losing my credit cards and money so I'm so excited that I got to use a new wallet and the next thing is oh a bunch of um, ice trays I love these things. Um, this one is a Marvel Comics ice cube tray. Archer. I just recently got into Archer last year, late last year, and I really, really like it. I need to start back over and watch it again because I really like it. But this one is the freaking best. It is a Joker and Harley Quinn ice cube tray 
And it's so funny he sent these because I have um, the ice cube tray of the Star Wars ships that came in, I think, sci-fi block. And um, the one of the alien ice cube trays that came in a horror block. And I got... I need. I still need the ones that are. I think that one's green, and it's the eggs. But the one I have is blue, and it's the xenomorph heads. And I was just thinking today, I need to go online and order some some candy making chocolate because I want to make some coffee bean candy. You take coffee beans and put them inside chocolate and what better way to do it is to use these and make make design candies um, which I may have to wait because it is hot in the ATL Atlanta gets very hot and I don't want my candy to melt before I can even melt it myself so I may wait till a couple months when it gets a little cooler so the last thing in the box which the post did crush it a little bit that's okay this is in fact the Sheldon Cooper stress ball figure this thing is awesome it's just a Sheldon Cooper stress stress ball but y'all know I love my Sheldon Where is oh, got my Leonard and Sheldon dolls But loves my Shelly. Shelly Bean, as his mother calls him. Or Moon Pie, as his, his Nana calls him. But this is the stress ball figure. He's, I've got arthritis, so it's not easy for me to squeeze him. It's probably my arthritis would be better if I did squeeze him. But no, I'm going to display him because he's really, really cool. Um... I think this is the second Sheldon Cooper thing that uh, Ray has sent me. The first one was the Astro Zombie exclusive um, Sheldon Cooper Funko Pop. And I think, I think he's wearing a Flash shirt. He's up on my shelf and I can't see him. I think it's Flash. Can't tell if I put that in right. Love me some Sheldon. Thank you, post office, for jacking up that box. I have to fix it so it'll sit. I don't think I got him in there very well, but there we go. And I believe that is everything in the box. And Thank you, Ray. You made my day. And, and this this rug is just so freaking adorable. That's that's awesome. I don't have any geeky rugs. What do you think, Patty Poo? He's like, you put the plush away. Not impressed. <laughs> and I am. This was a great box, Ray. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um. Came across something the other day that I thought of you that I wanted to send you, and I can't remember what it is, but when I come across again, I'm going to have to send it to you. But, yeah, I'm very overwhelmed. This was a great surprise. Thank you, Ray. I was just expecting the Fan Empire stuff and, and the show, and I did not know you were going to spoil me like this. Thank you. Again, go check out Ray's channel, aka Big Papa Geek. He's amazing. Just amazing. Say he spoils us! And that is it for us. I am hot and tired. He doesn't feel well. I don't feel well. We've been up all night! Say, who's ready for a nap? He wouldn't let me take a nap, so I put him in the crate and then the post run, so now he's out of the crate, so he may have to go back in. Up! Up! Sit. Sit, good. Uh, no, don't push me. 
Call you big bully. Say I'm a bully breed, Mama. It's my job. Oh, that's my bull. Stop. What do we tell everybody? What do we tell everybody? Say like, comment, subscribe. Can you clap? Help me clap. Yay. Clap. Yay. Clap. Give me a kiss. Mwah. All right. Got my face. So, dog drill. That is it for us. Peace. Say bye. Say thank you, Ray. Say bye.